Well, Bill, I want to start by saying I chose to wear pink in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which affects one out of every eight women in the U.S. At the Susan G. Komen Central and South Jersey office, I met two women who have been dear friends since high school. But Ashley and Melissa's bond became stronger than ever after Melissa lost her sister-in-law to breast cancer three years ago. I'm watching two beautiful kids grow up without their mom, but, you know, every day I see more and more of her in them. Um, and it's, 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 for me, it's, you know, knowing that there's a possibility that my, my, my niece might not have to go through what her mom went through. Ashley lost her sister Fawn uh, last Mother's Day and breast cancer snatched the lives of both of these women at the age of 38. That's before when most women are recommended to even get mammograms. Now, both Ashley and Melissa are active with a new campaign with Susan G. Komen called More Than Pink. The goal is to move from just raising awareness to actual action, encouraging people to get involved in the race to, for the cure and also to fundraise. Yeah, I mean, why not? If people are saying what's with the wig, it's a good excuse to say, this is what I'm doing, I'm raising money for this, you should join me, have you done your mammogram? Now the race for the cure is coming up in New Jersey on November 6th at Six Flags. Both Ashley and Melissa will be out walking in honor of their loved ones. And if you're watching, they hope you join them and of course, give back. For me, I always feel like a little bit more on the defensive side in the month of October. Um, you know, some people feel like the pink is shoved down their throats a little <laughs> bit during this month. Um, but for me, the way that I look at it is if a woman's, you know, grocery shopping and happens to look down at a pack of eggs and sees the pink ribbon, she may say, oh gosh, you know, I really need to um, schedule that mammogram. It, it's a reminder. It's not just about raising money. Do you know that 70%, 70% of young women under 40 who have gotten a mammogram have shown, this is a Swedish study, 60,000 women, 70% of them came up with a false positive, that they said they had a tumor and they didn't. So it, they're not even accurate below 40. And I think it's one of the reasons why the American Cancer Society said, no, you gotta raise the age to 45. It's great to be fashionable, but leave that for fashion week. Wear pink that week. What I care about is my health. And to this day, Doctors will not agree on when you should get a mammogram as a woman. It's disconcerting and it's really upsetting because billions of dollars are being raised for this and they can't answer the simple, basic question of every woman's health. Symbolism is a thing, but it's all about the stories. Think about eight-year-old Chrissy Turner, who just last year was diagnosed at eight years old with breast cancer and had to have that removed. Thanks to funding, a doctor took the AIDS virus, hollowed it out, put in in a very lame lay terms, put in cancer fighting cells, and that girl is in remission. That's incredible. We need to be funding projects like this so that cancer as a whole can be eradicated.